God's ready. Ho hopefully the, the dark quit doesn't have to surface. <laughs> nah. It won't, <laughs> it won't happen. Okay, okay. Alright. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Smurf! Rolling! So yeah, this is uh, Disney's reset for the <laughs> uh, super... Uh, yeah, the, the Super Reset, but... No, the Super uh, Reset Entertainment System. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> entertainment, keyword. Entertainment. As long as it's entertainment, then we're good to go here. So right away you see them pick up this cape, a sheet, a rag, whatever you want to call it. Somebody called it diapers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a diaper. You know, that might make sense, because, I mean, diapers are sturdy, so that's probably, you know, that might give Aladdin some hang time in the air. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'll, I'll just refer to it as the cape, so... Pretty much for this category, which is 80%, uh, the main difference between that and the capeless one is, well, you don't grab this cape. And wow. the significance <laughs> of the cape is, every time you release it in the air, it pushes Aladdin forward two pixels, which two pixels of movement in this game is one frame. So essentially, if you let go of the cape in midair, then hey, you get a free frame of advancement. Yeah. So ideally, you want to mash that as fast as humanly possible because there's no cap on it except for, you know, the frame rate of the game. Oh, wow. So if you try to watch a task, uh, you might want to have like a toilet nearby because you might get <laughs> motion sickness just watching the cave. <laughs> yeah, I watched the test the other day. I was like, uh, what? And had to grab yeah. something because <laughs> I was not understanding anything. <laughs> so for these early levels here, I mean, we call this the marketplace, but I just call it reset because, I mean, this is where most runs get reset. Yep. <laughs> Can confirm. Yeah, this, this world is very, it, it's really tough to optimize. And, I mean, there's just so many little things that can go on. There's just so many little things that you need to do to like just gain some frames here and there and this is one of those speed games that's like you know it's it's as close to frame warring as you can get without actually fighting for frames this is you know it's one of those games so with the cave here we're actually introduced to damage damage boosting and damage boosting works pretty pretty weird in this game compared to most others. See, the thing is, if you want to boost forward, you need to have some momentum going the opposite way before you actually make the boost. So in other words, you want to hold the directional pattern in your controller the opposite way of the direction you want to boost in for at least six frames, if I'm remembering right, before you actually initiate damage contact, and you'll boost the front way. And then what they're going to try to do here is at least a single log skip. This whole, this whole section here is like one of the toughest parts of the whole game. Okay, nope. I tried to yellow the first one, but... <laughs> as long as you don't die, that, that's good. No, 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 don't worry. So Recover. if Larsay misses, Tin gets the first early log, as he sees. Only a couple seconds behind, because the time difference between the log skips are three seconds for the first one. And now throw down your mixtapes. This is the specific part of the run, because we're about to go into Fire Auto Scroller, where you spam the mi mixtape in chat. <laughs> Infidels! Infidels! <laughs> also, shout out for Capcom to almost reusing songs because this almost sounds similar to Super Ghost and Ghosts. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's you different. Would, you would be surprised at how many people have told me the sound font of this game sounds just like Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And <laughs> the more I heard it, I was like, wow. They're, they couldn't be more right. Hmm. Yeah. It really does sound the same. Even this song especially. I could see, like, this song directly in Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah. I mean, I I heard this one. Once someone told me, hey, this sounds similar, although not the same, I was like, uh, this could be one one of Super Ghosts and Ghosts. I was like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> the one really interesting thing about this game is it's relatively glitchless. Surprisingly. And even though it's like not glitching or anything, there there is something interesting you can do which Clar say is going to demonstrate. So he died right at the start of this checkpoint. So now he spawns here. And dying at this checkpoint, the only significance of that specifically is that this is just the fastest death to take in the game. So you might be wondering, well, why, why did he just die? Now he's like really behind. The way this game handles the RNG address value. Pretty much, you know, for speedrun purposes, you can die anywhere from the end of Cave of Wonders to the second level of Jafar's Palace. And what that's gonna do is reset the RNG address to zero. Just completely reset it. So, you know, take the death, reset the <clears throat> And it's gonna stay that way all the way until near the end of the game where you're going to later manipulate those values to be something specific by appling a Yago in the beginning of Jafar's Palace 2 specifically. All this is specific because if you do if you do that different then it's not going to work. But yeah. I'll say much... that the Iago is final boss because it's impossible to hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much you take the death and then you apple that Yago. Make sure you don't come into any contact with anything else that has an RNG address to it, which is really not much. It's just a few jars that have random values to it. Just do that, and then the final two bosses of the game, it'll be your fixed pattern that you want. So, Polaris yeah. is going to do that. Tin, I'm if she ends up dying anywhere, then she could do it. So. Oh. So yeah, what they did at the beginning of the genie stage was apple that first jar and collect some good ones there. There's actually a lot of strats you can do from here to the end of the game with apples that'll save some chunks of frames here and there. Also, these genie platform spawns are dependent on how many lives you have. The good pattern to get here, you need one or two lives. If you have more than that, you get like these random crazy patterns that are not fast. So don't have more than two lives. If you have zero, then it's just all clouds. And that's like, if you want to be a slow poke, that's good. But. Yeah, by the way, most uh, rolling deep music. Wing it, wing it. Wing, wing. Wing. It's like the best songs in the whole game, but the worst stages in the whole game. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, the genie tongues here are on their own timer. So as long as you get to the top here in a specific time, you'll be good. See, Kalar barely makes it up there. That's yeah, I don't know how I did it. 
<laughs> the, the tongues, I mean... At least they worked with reality a bit in this game. Because the, the tongues are really slippery. So, you know, if, if you're slipping on those things, then, you know, you're rolling. Oh. Wow. Time to die on quicksands. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is... So, for some reason, Aladdin just, like, got tired of everything at this point. <laughs> and, like, every everyone, you know, you, you need, like, a mental week or whatever to just relax, so... Aladdin thought, hey, let's go on an Egyptian vacation, and here we are. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. So right at the beginning of this stage, you have to... You have to cape mesh at least four times right at the start if you want to get under that first bomb bridge. Okay, I'm gonna be forced to pick the chicken. Yep, yeah, same. Chicken Whoa, head. chicken percent. Yeah. I mean, come on, I can't say no to a song of crispy chicken. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it's a really good thing that health is there too, because uh, hey, this is like one of the hardest levels in the game. <laughs> yep. Oh wow, wow, that was a clutch. I should have died. <laughs> yeah, if you have one heart here, you should be dead, but Titan isn't, yeah. so that's good. <laughs> I got super lucky with the hooks. <laughs> yeah, those archers are fucking trolls. <clears throat> At least I don't have to sing now because I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can always do the RPG version of that. Which one? RPG did a really nice version of that. Oh yeah, the oh, or <laughs> new vagina. Yeah, I actually had on my. I actually have that one on my watch later playlist. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, that's actually one one to learn. So yeah, every time you get a hundred gems, your hearts refill and you get an extra one. So we route that very specifically as well. You see, uh, ours just got the refill a moment ago. Yeah. And you you want like a specific gem count throughout the game so that they're gonna get their second refill right before the final two bosses. Although surprisingly, I always manage to mess that up. So, Palace 3 can be really YOLO for me. Yeah, I mean, honestly, best is closing that screen with 69 gems. Well, uh, yeah. same. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a good number to have, so... <laughs> Shoutouts to magic number. Wow. <coughs> we do have a... Whoa. Oh, there's a few donations I missed. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Whoa. Well. Wow. <laughs> While we're in Jafar's palace, you know, why, why don't we, you know, distract J Jafar from giving Tin the bad RNG by reading these off, so... <laughs> Nairail donated $27.91. 
Please save the animals in Super Metroid. I, I will definitely do that for you. <laughs> for Jack. For Jack. Aww. And then Evil Bloody Eyes donated $25. Wow. Awesome event. Good luck to all runners. You're all doing a great job. Okay, at least I together. hit. Okay, I hit the final boss. We're fine. <laughs> oh, you hit the Yago nice. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so the death route for Clarce, I'm, I'm just gonna look real quick. Uh, the first Yago should drop the skull very late, and then there should be no second Yago at all. So I'm just gonna see real quick. Yeah. And I won't, I won't even have to see Jafar because I'll know. Oh wow! And I got really bad on on my Yago. Alright, let's see. Because first right, one. is good. Ten is uh not. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no second spawn. You're good. All right, Kalarse is gonna get the. Good Jafar RNG. Tenu, I'm not sure about. She might. Yeah, I mean, I the, the first Yago dropped the skull pretty early. Oh. And I just and I grabbed the extra red gem just for safety because I didn't know my count. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the the first Jafar pattern, you really want that good one because the difference between them is eight seconds. Yep. And e even if you take the death route, you're gonna get. Fuck! Oh no. Aww. Five seconds. Oh no. And um, I always yeah, I always switch. managed to do that. And then I just my brain farted because hell yeah. That's alright, I, I might like actually fart soon, so <laughs> Yep. Yo can you stop? Hello? <laughs> Yeah, real quick to finish though, let's fight cancer together, we can do it. I hope this helps a bit. All the best for you, Kara. And he wants it to go towards the F-Zero incentive, that's what I like to see. So oh, that nice. one will be complete. Thank yeah, you, Vin, okay. for donating $50. Hope this helps. Wow. No, yes, yes, it does. Awesome. And then awesome. Charlie. Charlie donated $10.69. Wow. Nice. Emphasis on the 69 cents. <laughs> Thank you all very much for your donations. If any of the others wanted to specify where you want those incentives to go to, <coughs> you got the page right there. Just let me know. Oh god, I completely messed up Snake. <laughs> So yeah, the snake fight has Same. damage boost that you want to follow. Okay. No more damage boosting for me. <laughs> oh shit, I clicked the wrong button, so I don't know what it was on my time. Let's see, 1745. Yeah. 45 for 10. Okay. 53, I guess? Bam. Nice late split. Yep. <laughs> so 18, that's what I like. Despite messing up <laughs> the Jafar <laughs> one. <laughs> Holy damn. I was really close all throughout, though. Like, it was only until Jafar that you two were pretty spread out. Yeah, what happened to uh, Jafar? Did you. No, I basically did not hit him <laughs> oh, <laughs> when I... he went down. <laughs> so I was like, I took damage. Because I jumped late. So. And then I forgot how when to hit him, so he decided, hey, I'm gonna be a troll, I'm gonna just not throw the pop tarts. Oh my god, Obayo donated a hundred dollars. Oh holy shit. <coughs> oh you're killing <coughs> Uh oh. <coughs> it's killing okay. Need to chip in to help my friend. Also, thank you to Joe and the crew for this marathon. Th thank you all for participating. In the it's it's all of you that is making this, you know, work. But use this to reach the DK64 goal and the rest to save the animals. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, if you guys really want to kill the animals, then you, you guys need to step it up. Because saving the animals is blowing out. Wow. Killing them. So, if you want to change them, then like, 
you might you might want to call your job and be like, hey, I need to put in an extra, you know, thirty five hours today, so I can get you know a nice four hundred dollar paycheck tomorrow and just cash that thing in. And you know, when I mean tomorrow, I mean in about five hours. So. Now comes the best part. <laughs> uh, the part I'm so excited for. <laughs> Yo, Mutsky donated twenty dollars, and he he says very very importantly, sup, sup. <laughs> wow. And I mean, all I can really say to that is, uh, not not much, just chill. Uh, how about you? I'm just setting up so people can actually see my face while I destroy this. Destroy uh, your life while singing. Do you, want, do you want me to capture your face? Uh, I'm cap. I'm putting over my gameplay. All right. I'm just setting that up. Oh yeah, Charlie. Uh, that that incentive got met like right before you donated. <laughs> so if you want to put it towards something else, that'll be cool. Bottles all that. I just gotta do some rolling deep calculations here. Yo, rolling deep calculations. Well. <clears throat> Okay. So now that we have a face cam here, everyone's seeing that it's almost Wait. noon here. <laughs> Should I capture your audio instead of Tim's audio now? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. Okay. Yeah, probably my game audio feel died somewhere. I'm just muting it regardless. Miss Honor bringing out the exclusive golden mic for Flora <laughs> The I actually could use a fake one that's here, but I'm still using my the one from my headset because apparently it sounds better from what I've tr tested. Somehow I hit reset. <laughs> oh hell yeah, reset. Reset. Res <laughs> well, I mean, it is I Disney's mean reset. Yeah. <laughs> or or I broke my game feed, I don't know. I don't Yep, I broke my game feed somehow. Fun fun stuff. Okay. Still. Way better. <sighs> the Koopa. Okay, so let me just put this here. Um Okay, I hope I can read this with being so small, I hope. I hope, so whenever I can, I got the good go. Uh, let me just put some random audio from my computer to see if it sounds okay. Because we want, we want to the sing along works nice, so. Yeah, I'll let you, let you know how it sounds. Yeah, I know, because otherwise I'll have to cut it down and start over again. So let me just put some random music. Some Pokemon music. I think it's fine. Oh, okay, good to know. So we're gonna close that Pokemon and 
No, I. I think if you if you turn the music down just a little, you'll be good. Okay, I can. I can. Assuming the song you're using is like the same volume. I don't know, but I can lower it up a little bit. <laughs> so, I no cancel. I don't want the the glitchy Bethesda launcher. Okay. So. <clears throat> Okay, thank you everyone for that donated for sabotaging your own ears. I'm responsible for that as well. <laughs> so we gonna get the singing thing. Sings Mick. That's a good emote. Yep, Lil Z. Lil Z. So okay, let's turn it on. Fire. Fire it up. I can show you the world Shine and shimmer in a splendid Tell me princess now when did you last let your heart decide I can open your eyes Take you wonder by wonder over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride a whole new world a new fantastic point of view no one to tell us no or where to go or say we're only dreaming a whole new Okay, I'm not gonna do that feminine. A dazzling oh, place I never knew. But now from way up here it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you. Unbelievable sights indescribable feeling Soaring, tumbling, freewheeling through an endless diamond sky. Whole new world, don't dare you oh, fuck. <laughs> Hundred thousand things to see. I'm like a shooting star. I've come so far. I can't go back to where I used to be. With new horizons to pursue I'll chase them anywhere There's time to spare Let me share this holy world with you A whole new world, a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, or where to go, or say we are only dreaming a whole new way. Return a surprise with new horizons to pursue. I'll chase them anywhere. There's time to spare Anywhere There's time to spare Let me share This whole new world with you You A whole new world A whole new world That's where we'll be where will be a thrilling chase a wondrous place for you and me According to you, YouTube, it ended. <laughs> so, 
Wow, standing ovations. We're, we are $8 away from raising a thousand dollars. Wow. All, already. Wow. If anyone wants to be one and get that to one K by the time I'm finished the sentence, I could keep blabbering on for like another minute or two, but I think by then my, my vocal cords might <laughs> be unhappy. <laughs> wow. Don't, don't let Joe be unhappy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's very crazy. Oh, geez. And unlink himself. Oh, wow. The man broadcasting the stream donates not just $8, but $8 and a cent. <laughs> wow. wow. Hammering, hammering the table with that oh, one yeah. set. And then Spectral donates another $8. And, you know, I guess him and Musky are, like, sitting next to each other on the computer. Because he... <laughs> He also says, you know, sup. <laughs> sup. <laughs> wow. Sup. Damn, son. 1K. Uh, that's oh, wow. pretty ridiculous. That's the applause that everyone should be doing at home. Yay. So we are at $1,008. And, <laughs> and, and one <laughs> and one cent. So very much appreciated for everyone's support. Already at one K at a perfect time, right after Clarice is done with that beautiful song. The best song in <laughs> I mean I hope that I'm pretty sure the Genesis doesn't have that, so Oh uh, yeah, the the Genesis does not roll nearly as deep as the SNES version. So that's why we play the SNES because it rolls yeah. deep. And while I just said that very highly controversial sentence, <laughs> we should uh, maybe move on here to Haunting Ground <laughs> by oh, yeah. Spectral Joker. Is going to be throwing that down shortly for us. Yay. Thanks again for reaching 1K. Let's let's keep this going. Let's just go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go chat, go. Go, chat. Go, go. chat, go. Go. There's like, go. I think there's another like 3,000 that we could raise, to like meet uh, the full amount on her GoFundMe. So we got no limit here. We're just, we're going. Yeah. Let's ro keep rolling deep on the runs and keep rolling deep on the donations. 801 towards saving the animals. Wow. Pe people want Jack to suffer. Yep. Saving the animals has $319. Killing, 125 Ooh. 